Hey guys, Jamin here with PC Monkey. We're bringing you a teardown video today on a Samsung Chromebook uh, XE 303C12 model, uh, commonly called 303Cs. These are commonly used in schools, uh, so maybe you're a student or you're an IT guy in a school. Uh, but we thought we'd show you a complete teardown video of this so you know what to expect when you're getting into it, uh, as long as we're taking this apart anyway. Uh, so to get into it, first thing you want to do is flip it over. Uh, you have screws here. Uh, you also have four screws hidden under the feet. Um, some computers like doing that, so be careful of that. So I use a little flathead screwdriver. I just go under here and take the, the feet off. They're held on by double-sided tape. Um, so they come off pretty easily. Uh, and if you want to salvage that tape, you can get these back on there pretty easily too. But I'm just, I'm just ripping it off for the video. Uh, but yeah, so you're going to take off all these screws. Again, there's four of them, four or five around the edge, plus one under each uh, foot. So, it helps if you have a uh, magnetized screwdriver. I have a small flat metal pry tool here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to go around the edge and uh, slowly pop this up. Now this is a small computer. You can definitely muscle this, um, but try not to because you'll break those plastic clips. And if you're planning on putting this back together after, you definitely don't want to break more of those than you have to. If you're looking for a more specific video um, on how to do a touchpad issue, or how to um, do a screen, the links will be down below so you don't have to sit through the whole tear down. Oh, check it out, I missed a screw. I wonder why it's too hard to take. See, so again, I, I could have muscled that off, but the moment you face resistance, stop, um, see if you missed it, any screws, because you don't want to muscle it off if you don't have to. But that comes off fairly easily. Uh, the little hinge cover back here, this thing just pops off. Looks like that's connected on the front hinge. Yeah, so be careful of those. Um, as you can see, this is already missing one, but this is connected there and it's not connected very well. This is kind of a cheap part. Um, so be careful taking that off until you're ready. I'll, I'll leave that on for now. Now the battery's right here. Usually in, in any repair that you're doing, if you're attempting a repair, take the battery out first. So you'll find a screw here, here, assuming none have been removed prior. One down there, one down there, quite a lot of screws for the battery. One down here, and one here. So this battery comes up and the connector that it's in, it, it just pops up. So just pops up like that. That comes out like that. So here, here's your motherboard. I'm gonna zoom in a little here for you because I'll show you exactly what's going on with the motherboard. So the motherboard, we have a variety of, um, of connectors. You have right here, a pretty standard motherboard ribbon cable clip connector. There's a metal, sorry, a plastic part here. It goes down to secure the ribbon and pops up to release. So with my plastic pry tool, I'm just gonna pop that up and then slide this out. And then I always pop them back down for safety. Those are very breakable. And if they break, you're kind of screwed because it's hard to find them. Same thing with this one, pop it up, slide the ribbon cable out. Put it back down. Uh, these connectors here, these just pull out. So these are your speaker wires. So you can take your speakers out uh, by unscrewing them. Uh, these are your speaker wires going in here. So I just take a fingernail and put it under each side of that white housing. You, you never want to pull the, the wires because these connections aren't very secure. You can pull the wire right out and, and leave that in the port. So I take my fingernails either side, pop it out like that. Uh, this one I'm going to leave because that's your CMOS battery underneath. You can't see it, but that's a CMOS battery. So I'm going to leave that alone. I don't have to undo that to take the motherboard out. Uh, this is your, is that your power jack? Yep. That's your power jack. So it just pops up kind of like our battery connector. So let's pop that right up. Uh, these are your Wi-Fi cables, your antenna cables. Um, 
So we're just gonna pop those up. Those are snaps. Those are snap on and snap off. And uh, last but not least, you have your LCD cable coming in down through here. This is not like either of these two connectors. This one, uh, maybe you'll have a piece of tape covering it. Take that tape off. But this is a little metal bar that just slides up to release it. And then you just push off on that metal piece right there and get that out of there. So now our motherboard's pretty much unplugged. We'll just go around and uh, undo the screws. So I had one here, I had one here. I'm gonna have one down here next to the speaker wire. And then it looks like just one more up here next to the SD card. And that should come loose now. Yep. So there's your motherboard. And again, there's your CMOS battery under there if you need to replace that. That's just held on by double-sided tape so you can pull that out, unplug this. All right, so there's your battery, your motherboard. Again, you can take your speakers out by just unscrewing these and removing them. Uh, sometimes you do need to replace your touchpad, so we'll show you how to do that right now. There's a little white, I'll zoom in here actually again for the next part, the touchpad. There's a little yellow piece of tape here. I'm gonna take that up, but I always save these. Um, that comes loose sometimes, so you kinda wanna save it to put it back down. And again, it's the same clip we saw on the motherboard. Pops up to release, down to secure. But this one's very tiny, so be careful you don't break it. So we'll pop that back down. That one's very easily breakable. And then you have this uh, tape right here. I always like keeping this stuff. I figure if they put it in here, it's good. So I don't like just wrecking things and not being able to use them. So I just put my flat head down there, just slid it under it, pulled it up so I can put it back down later. Same thing with this one. Oh, I actually don't need to do that one. So the way to get the touchpad out of here, it's kind of interesting. These um, plastic arms here, they're held down by double-sided tape. So I'm gonna go slowly. I'm gonna put my flat screwdriver under it and then just rotate it out. Try to slowly get that up. There you go. Slide it all the way up under this one. All right, then I'll do the same on the next one. Sometimes you break these when you're doing this. It's not the end of the earth if you break them because they stick back down, but it's better if you don't. Okay, so those are kind of up, see? They're kind of unstuck. I'm just gonna open this up a little bit. I'm gonna push down on my touchpad. There you go. So there's your touchpad, it comes right out. It's usually held on by double-sided tape. Sometimes these things get stuck, you lose your double-click feature. We'll have a video link down below on, on how to stop that from happening, because oftentimes it's not broken. You just need to clean it out. That's how you would take your touchpad out. Zoom back out, continue with the disassembly. All right, so now we're gonna undo our hinge screws here that's holding it to the palm rest. Because our palm rest is pretty much disassembled at this point other than those speakers, which those are pretty easy to take out, so we're not gonna do it here. Also, you have your power jack there held down by one screw in a bracket. That's pretty easy to take out as well. All right, so those now are off the hinge. Just open it up a little bit, get some wiggle room. I can, oh, so we're gonna, so this black Wi-Fi cord, get that out of there, and the LCD cable, that's what's holding it in. Then we're gonna try to take this off without breaking it, or I'll just break it, by the way. There you go, oh, all right. Okay, so you also have the other Wi-Fi cord that comes away, the antenna cable all the way down. There you go. So now we've released our palm rest. We usually opt not to replace your keyboard independent of the palm rest. It's not screwed in. So once you rip that up, when you put a new one in, it's not very secure. Um, so we prefer not replacing the keyboard independent of the palm rest. If you need to fix your keyboard, re replace the entire palm rest. So here is your... Here is your LCD assembly. It's pretty easy to take off that bezel. Just take your flat pry tool, put it in the, into the top, and then you just kind of rip it off. You, you can't break it, so be careful, but it's just held on by snaps. There's your LCD. So the LCD itself is only held on by four screws. 
So we got one down here, one down here, one over here, and one there. Now your LCD is pretty much free, but for the LCD cable, kind of stuck on there. Careful doing this, you could break your LCD. There you go. Keep in mind the LCD cable right there, I'm gonna zoom in, show you what that looks like, because that's a good thing to know if you're gonna go in for the LCD repair. So this right here is held on the same way the LCD cable was held on on your motherboard. Remember that it was plugged in there? So we're gonna rotate that bar up to release its grip and then we're just gonna push off on that metal bracket and it comes right out. So there's your LCD. So if you want, you can take your hinge out. I'll just zoom out right here. This is pretty much the extent of the disassembly we're gonna do. Um, if you want, I mean, you can remove your hinges. They're held on by three screws on the base, one on the top. Same thing here, three base, one top. This is your webcam held on by sticky tape. So if you need to replace that, you can pop this up. Just be careful because you can break it. And then of course the ribbon cable from the webcam comes down here into this board. Um, so yeah, that's the extent. It's not a very complicated machine. Uh, hopefully that helped if regardless of what you were going in there for, hopefully that gave you an idea of what to expect. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We try to get back to you at least twice a day. And uh, if you need any help with anything, let us know. We'll help you out. Thank you for watching.